We have previously discussed the separation principle, which allows us to design the state feedback gain and the observer separately. In this video, we prove the separation principle. We also derive the transfer function describing the full state variable compensator. The separation principle says that the poles of the combined system, that is the plant with the state feedback and observer, are the combinations of the closed loop regulator poles and the observer poles designed separately. The idea of the proof is to combine the descriptions of all the components of the full system into one state variable description and then calculate the poles of the combined system. Let's first look at the components of the full system. The plant is described with the standard state variable equations where we assume that d is equal to zero. We label them as equation one and equation two. We have previously defined the estimation error x tilde as the difference between the actual and estimated states. We call this equation three. We have also previously derived the dynamics of the observer in terms of the estimation error as this equation, which we label equation four. The control law for the combined system is given in equation 5, where the input is calculated as the feed forward gain n times the reference input r minus the state feedback gain k times the estimated states x hat. We now combine equations 1 to 5 into a state variable description of the full system. With the inclusion of the observer, we have added the same number of states as in the plant, which means that the full system has double the number of plant states. We choose the states for the full system to be the plant states x and the estimation error x tilde. The input to the full system is the reference input r. Our aim is to write the full system dynamics in terms of the chosen states and the input. We start by combining the plant state equation and the control law which gives us this line. We then use the definition of the estimation error to get rid of x hat which produces this line. After gathering the terms with x we get this expression which we call equation 6. We now combine equation 6 and equation 4 into a single matrix equation where equation 6 forms the first line and equation 4 forms the second line. When we look at this equation, we see that we write the derivative of the full state vector as a square matrix times a full state vector plus a column vector times the input to the full system, which is the standard state equation format with this being the A matrix and this being the B vector of the full system. Since we've described the full system in state variable format, we can easily calculate the poles of the full system as the solution to the determinant of SI minus the A matrix of the full system and set it equal to zero. After combining the two matrices in, in the determinant, we get this expression. We now use a property of the determinant of a matrix which says the determinant of a matrix with blocks A, B, C and D where A and D are square matrices is given by the determinant of A times the determinant of D minus C times the inverse of A times B. After applying this to the blocks of the matrix in the determinant we see that this is equal to the determinant of the top left block times the determinant of the bottom right block. We now recognize the first determinant as the characteristic polynomial of the regulator designed separately from the observer and the second determinant as the characteristic polynomial of the observer designed separately from the regulator. This concludes the proof of the separation principle which tells us that the poles of the combined system is the combination of the regulator poles and the observer poles designed separately. In a previous video we have calculated the transfer function of the state variable compensator 
on this page, we derive this result. The idea of the derivation is to take the description of the components of the compensator to the Laplace domain and manipulate things to derive at the transfer function. It is important to note that we aim to describe the dynamics of the compensator, not the full system, and we therefore only include the compensator components, not the plant. The one part of the compensator, the observer, is described by these two equations we looked at previously, which we call equation 1 and equation 2. We also assume that the initial estimated states is equal to zero. The other part of the compensator is the control law, which is given by equation 3. Here we assume that the reference input is zero, since we are only interested in the dynamics of the compensator between the plant output and the plant input. We start the derivation by combining equations 1, 2 and 3 to write x hat dot in terms of x hat and y. We gather the terms with x hat and then apply the Laplace transform which produces this line. We now gather the terms with x hat of s on the left hand side and the terms with y of s on the right hand side. Next, we left multiply with the inverse of si minus a plus bk plus mc to get only x hat of s on the left hand side. We call this result equation 4. Now we take the Laplace transform of the control law which produces this line. We combine this with equation 4 to get rid of x hat of s and we then divide by minus y of s to get to the result we want to derive. This result allows us to interpret the state variable compensator as a classical controller.